it's me Nancy welcome back to our live tutorial today actually is we did live a little bit earlier today uh, to share with you and then I make it up for last night because last night I couldn't do it um, but I'm coming back tonight with another live tutorials and tonight's going to do another four uh, cool different designs for the nails and uh, we're gonna come up with some uh, stunning four different designs and content for all of you. Hey, hi, hi, Instagram. Thanks so much for tuning in. So let's get started. I did it like in this afternoon. We did four different nails in encapsulating. We did four techniques on this. We did encapsulating a, a dramatic glitter. Is if you miss it, you can rewatching them after we're done with the live tutorials. You can see all different um, techniques that we did. Four different techniques on one nails, encapsulating, um, ombre, 3D flowers, and crystal placement. So I'm excited. If you are rewatching them, if you have any questions, feel free to ask any questions. So then I can uh, uh, help you with any techniques or any question you would you may have. So let me share it quick. How are everybody doing today? Happy Friday. Hope you're doing great and be safe. Quick sending, sharing it out for everyone. All right, so let me get started. Hello. All right, so we have it right here with the nails that I have. Um, I'm gonna show you there are so many different ways to do is marble nails. We did some marble nails before. And on the door. We need marble nails before and we can using this as a gel polish as well. Um, it's really simple. I shared with you several different techniques before and uh, we came across uh, social media as so one of the artists I would like to um, share and feature hers. I think is a uh, Nikki artist that she's sharing it using a little film, little plastic film, or you can use it using, I'm using with twin tip brush, which is a twin tip brush I usually get at that. But um, Nikki artist, I think she's using a piece of the, uh, film like this and you can cut it off from your uh, little packing package or whatever it is hey JC nails hi Hilda how are you sweetie looks like really dark in the background though so I got the nails is the white let me move this one we're gonna start with the nails today so I have this nails painted white and I dropped some of the colors which is I think I did it this colors with just solid colors from uh, CND you can do any colors as long as it's contrast so now I'm gonna draw that and I'm drop one drop of that uh, kind of peachy pink and then I did one drop of the white and then one drop of the uh, gold glitter so let's give it some you know what i'm gonna do it again because i did it and it's set in here so it's not good now let me show it to you just one drop or two if you need more and then one drop of the white to make it really defy, don't let it blend thing out. Uh, over here, a little bit more glitter. And then just using a twin tip brush, it just kind of saw that. Mm 
looks really good you can draw however you would like i think it's just gonna turn out great because marble remembers like it doesn't matter if you're doing a liquid paint powder uh painting or um uh blossom gels or uh, fusion ink which is marble ink it all marble it looks different every single time so i'm using a uh, blossom gel this will help accelerate and spread them uh, the gels really nicely and it creates the marble look for the gels so one coat you don't want to do it too much also you don't want to do it too thin too much it's going to spread so fast too thin it's not gonna be enough to spread it out for you. So it's just a piece of this. And you can need to do is just pick it up. Like I pick it up before with the with the brush and it turned out great. And with this one, you can't like. So every time you apply that, it's gonna give you a totally a different look. If you wanna cover completely, you're great. Looks really good. So I'm gonna cure it under the LED light for about 60 seconds. I just wanna make sure I say hi to everyone. Hope everyone have a great day today. And then you can just wipe it off or you can do um, using another one so let me move and before I usually pick that one and lay it on the nails so however it works for you so many different ways you can just do it away but this one wipe off And I did this one earlier, and this one is just a different look. Every time you create that, it's gonna be a totally a different look of the marble. So in the meantime, we're waiting. I am going to, let me dust this off quick for my, um, just a bit powder in here. So I'm gonna using the bender if you haven't seen this one there's different shape on that but i am going to using this i bend this one already so you can see it have bend so it's gold and it fit perfect right on the top of the nails with the c curve i'm just going to show you this one so you can see it better this one it more like flat so when it using it just lay it right here place them place it right on like inside that curve of the banner and using the banner tools on the top and just press it. You can lay on the station. I'm just holding it. I don't know why. I'm just holding it closer for you. Look at that. Now it's bent. So if you want to do more, then you can bend it more. So it's gonna showing is you can see it if I put it on the surface. It's perfect. Looks really great. So let's do some crystal placements on this. And I did bend this one also. I did bend this one as well. So I want to use some fun uh, different collection. Uh, where is that? Where is that? Um, the frame, the gold frame. Uh, right there. Okay. So condensed wool gel 
and it's really thick density so make sure if you're first time using it don't hesitate to blend and bleed um, Just bend it and like just blend them really nicely. You don't need it too much, but also you don't need it too thin because it's too thin, it's not gonna be enough. But then it too much it might flood at your crystal. So I'm gonna do right in the middle. You know, is this gonna look good too? You can put some uh foil leaf here, it's gonna look great. Okay, so we'll put it on the side. and no wipe top coat this no wipe top coat and condensed oil gels will is a great tool to adhere the crystal to help grab the base of the crystals and also second um, benefit of it then when you finish you don't have to worry about tacky layer between crystals at all because it's already completely capped Floating on the top of your condensed oil gels. Try not to drag it down because then it might um, is might contaminating and it mix all of your the surfaces get sticky. Can I get that tray, please? I'm gonna give it a try. Perfect. I feel like in the um, Easter theme, I'm using a wonderful collection that we have. And we are using um, the rose gold. Pick this one up, just so you know. One of my Easter collections here. I just want a little bit of crystal placements as well as uh, Dragon Scout because they're so cute. And I don't want to cover all that marble a little bit. It's become look like an ombre look now. I'm gonna put some do some beads in there you can if you are happy with this or your clients like love the look you don't have to add the beads on but if you want to add some more to make it like a jewelry decoration uh, you can add it on and we have a lot of questions on how they do a crystal placement how it's gonna be is good and it looks good so you know is your create your creativity your creation is really really is a key to make it looks good so as long as you place all your crystal tight next to each other and you see it come out turn out perfect doesn't matter different shape different look different sizes just make sure you tight you um, place them really close together a little bit okay. 
looks super cute you know I come back to see everybody again what was life earlier we did all about uh, liquid gunpowder and ombre and uh, it's all different designs so I'm so excited to come back we're gonna do so many different like four of them okay good good background I am going to cure this for 60 seconds if you're happy with this. Looks really nice. Okay. I'm just with my finger. Let's move it onto this side. And also, if with this one, if you want to, you can do this on it but we're not gonna do this one because we want to move on to the next one and I'm using this bender to bend that to make it really um, nice natural curve on the C curve so it fit perfect on the nails uh, place wait so I might do in a different Hey, Spamolix, how are you? So let's do one of the designs that uh, Jennifer's. That's your digits we're asking for, the chrome. So we're not using this chrome, uh, pinky, pinky rose thing. Okay, so now this one is done. You see, it's normally it's gonna be done, but I'm gonna be double secured using a precision glue. And you see, I check first. I'm gonna do a little exam, and if you feel that scratchy, that's why you're gonna squeeze it in. And do not worry about if you get over the frames, like a metal frame, it's not gonna hurt it. But we'll try not to get into the top of your crystal, because then it's gonna just affect the cut and the size of your crystal. So each time you squeeze out just that much. And it's gonna go automatically blend again and fill in to all the cracks, gaps, and edges of the nails, of the crystal. So then it will help seal it in. So it will prevent from catching on the hair clothes or any uh, things that you know the clients wearing. Keep for 60 seconds, and that nails is completely done. Move on to the next one. We are going to do the chromes, and we. After the comb, we're doing a weaver gels using a cool like um, four strokes techniques. Uh, I am going to apply the no white top coat and key it for about 15 seconds. I'm thinking of. Wait, 15 seconds everyone. Hey, it's a glitzy war. How are you, sweetie? Thanks so much for tuning in. Hey, yeah, Jennifer is with that chromes. 15 seconds, this is the final look for this. Really stunning. I'm open it on the side so 15 seconds great and I'm like this and hold and tie the nails it's just the colors you want to see I really love this one And it's different, uh, keep in mind that it's gonna be different. It depends on the um, background you're using. I'm using kind of a pink, like kind of a darker pink. So it's gonna give out that look. But it can be changed if you're using a black or if you're using a lighter pink. Lighter pink is gonna give a lighter look. Looks great, looks great. 
keep a little bit brush off with my So now we're gonna using a Weaver gels. I have the pure white here. And my four toothpick, I put it together. Just pick them up. And it depends on how thick you want your And now, if you want to do your, um, now if you want to, I'm gonna key it really quick, 60 seconds. Hey Sarah, how are you? Sarah, can you add the code in there for me? Um, so if you want to do a pigments, you can't, um, do a 15 second and do a neon pigments and rub it on. It's like earlier with Sarah sharing, it's really beautiful. I love the neon pigments and the neon theme. Sarah's going really cool though. She's going by a theme, which is make it so super easy. If you're looking for a cool different design using a different products from Glitz Accessory and such, Sarah's like the same. Uh, we trying to share with the theme. So if you have the clients doing like uh, four different nails, uh, or five different designs and you have a whole entire theme to work with great. It's awesome Sarah. I love it It's just a little bit the internet is hard today, but she did amazing. It's so beautiful so artistic great um, Let me see Sarah. Are you on Facebook or Sarah or you're on Instagram? Hey, thank you Nuna Thank you, AC. Okay, so great. So if you are done with this, you can put the crystal placements on or you can absolutely uh, do a different like this time. Do you want to see me doing with a silver or with gold? Silver looks stunning. Gold is, looks good as well. I don't know, we're always doing gold. We're always doing like a uh, golden touch. But let me try the shimmer silver and see how it turned out on this stunning design. Just feel it's so solid. I just opened this. Well, I have so many different set. But I have ones right next to me right now. So this is a gel painting. Is shimmer, shimmering silver, and all you need to do is just fill in to wherever you want, just the little portion of it if you want it. Instagram see okay we'll get prepared for streams on YouTube as well hello youtubers if you're watching later you can fill in the portion or if you don't want to totally fine
great I think it looks good so I'm gonna key for about 60 seconds or you can flash gear for 30 seconds shimmer shimmering silver is really pigmented and it's so solid it's like deep ones and one strokes will give you a solid look I'm excited so we're gonna put some crystals on it I'm gonna get my ginger brush and condensed blue gels we'll put some uh, cute crystals on that one you can always do in your AV or you can do I absolutely love Sarah design earlier she did so awesome so stunning Sarah so I'm probably using my AB um, I do have silver and gold somewhere so condensed blue gel is really thick density so doesn't move anywhere at all and I'm gonna apply on some part of the weaver gels I'm gonna just put a few of them but you know sometimes I just come up with things that I want more I never want less I want more do you ever want less like in life be honest I would never want less I want more I don't know, however people would think, you know, they would think, oh, why you want more? It's just not any of reasons. You want more, you want to learn more because you always want to be better yourself and then, you know, get your skill to the next level. You want more because then you can fulfill a lot for a lot of things, a lot of reason. Like clients will be happy and they're willing to like um, come and see you. No white top coat. And I feel good when I always want to learn more because you know when you want more in a more in a good way not like I say more in a greedy way it's more so then you can uh, able to do more and work smarter not harder and help more people to be successful so then you can be there too floating the no white top coat on the top so I was like cluttery and I'm gonna looking into one of my mix. AB. Just randomly. You can see. No, you see. You can do a bigger crystal. I think a bigger crystal looks so cute as well. It's like show more. Or you can do different colors. I think be honest this one if you put some like a neon neons will pop really nice too so however you would like all right Jennifer this is now for you sweetie great here under the LED light for 60 seconds and then I will check if I need um, Precision glue on this. If not, then we are good to go. I don't think I need it. I want it right there. You can put it somewhere, you know, like randomly. It doesn't have to be. Okay, great. Here, 60 seconds. Dazzle digits. Jennifer. I love it too. It's so cute, right? It's super simple, easy. Um, I say super simple, easy. Like if you really understand, it's really deep, and it means that for all our nail technician who's already know the basics, like or even the beginners who is um, thinking is the crystal placement game or in the nail industries will be difficult or it's, or it's hard to be really getting better. This is something for you to see. You see me do live video, actually. When I do live video, I do it slower. If I do it for the clients, it faster. 
because I don't have to sharing explaining so the clients will sit and chills and really relax and enjoy so when I'm doing live I'm trying to share as much impossible and tips and tricks possible so then you won't have to you eliminate of like all that mistake or the troubleshooting that you have to be in through and like go through so then I share with you so then you don't have to uh, be you know struggling with that so you can just take that and even doing it better than what I'm doing and showing you all right so it looks good and it's nice and it dry because I put the top coat floating on the top of condensed glue gel so and then it doesn't affect anything because the condensed glue gel stay nice and it doesn't affect my chromes and thing actually is, is really good to to cap the chromes as well so I'm gonna go in to check usually with the little baby crystals it's not much of the edges come on but then you know you never know because I'm laying them on the top of the weaver gel so they might have a little like gaps and cracks between so I'm gonna just doing a really good check and just some spot that I need to fill in other than that it looks really good and I am going to key it for 60 seconds and this nails will be completely done great so key this one and let going up on nails Let's do some of our. Want to do one chant before? Do you want to see the diamond dust pixie? We we'll do one diamond dust pixie. I have it, and then one chant for foy. So, this one is so stunning. I have that background for all of you. So, is here the tip and trick. So, when you do diamond dust pixie, unless a client has request to be like a chance, you know, like completely clear, clear. So, if they don't want to be too clear. I don't want to clear like see through the nails so then you're using a, uh, the clear on the nails like the clients will apply the clear um, powder or if they're doing a uh, gel polish then they're doing it like have a transparent like clear only so then you do that but if you're doing it some points and if you're doing this color so you want to do um, the background is similar to that this is beautiful We've got two nails and next one we're gonna do a diamond dust pixie and I am going to use condensed glue gel I love this when I place the crystal placements it feels so good everyone's when you place that you feel like you don't have a heartbeat on nervous that oh my god it's so gorgeous and I don't know if she's gonna come back and uh, the crystal gonna coming off like in couple of days you using this techniques it really help and ensure the crystal was staying at last on so long at least three weeks if not longer so I blend all that condensed glue gels it's really thick density if you're first time using it don't hesitate to blend it nicely so we have a lot of questions it was like it's supposed to be thick like this and yes it is because then the formula is thick like that so then that way it really hold the crystal flat back 3d and charm chain down really well so no white top coat again so I have the leads off because I'm always using this and floating it on the top sounds like You want to see the diamond dust pixies on all anti the nails, so you want to see the diamond dust pixie just on the half of it. Mm -hmm. Can I see the tray? I'm not using some special shape. Oh, you know, I got this right on my size. I'm gonna do half of the nail, something like that. All right. It's the theme.
I've been using a lot of this. Place them tight together. If you do a random mix, you don't have to worry what colors you're going to unless you place them. Um, I love the look of it. It just sparkles and now it's like, like a is an unicorn's like crystal. Oh, the tiny little one. And I, if you see the techniques that I sharing, I placing them tight together. It looks so beautiful by itself already too, you know. You can play some of your uh, gold beads in here and it makes it look so stunning. So I would do, if you're doing a rose gold, um, like, I'm sorry, the gold beads, I put some gold beads on it, it looks so beautiful. But also if you want to do some diamond dust pixie on it, let's do some diamond dust pixie on that one. I am going to do open my this one and now with that one but I also have that one I can do this one on the bottom oh this is so pretty tap it so then of the excess diamond dust pixie will falling down so great um can you put this one where and I need the tray again I have another tray I am going to using another diamond dust pixie which is, I need to write it down like Sarah's like, great idea that she had it. I have it in the box, but I took the box off. So I'm going to do this one on the end. Great. So there are two different pixie on this one, everyone. It looks really nice. Ombre. Um... I have, I think it's just uh, number two, pink and white ombre, uh, diamond dust pixie, and number three, ah, number, what number is that I need to write it down is, um, I'll pull it out and I'll show you what the name of it. I have whole entire trays of collection here. So if you're happy with this gear, I did try to make sure they all compact and they're tight together all the tiny little pixie and then make sure you tap it so then they can stay nicely on all right so here for 60 seconds everyone if you want to put some ab in between it's great but then it's already have the diamond dust pixie and like a great thing there so here for 60 seconds just a great tonight tonight. I feel like I haven't left yet. I was like doing it for a couple hours. Tomorrow we'll do a different diamond dust pixie. And maybe tomorrow we're doing it on the practice hand and I'll show all of you who is who can do an Easter theme tomorrow. Let me know. Hey, thanks so much, Nuna. 
And last one, we are going to do a chanfu foy. And with this, I want to show with you with elastics rose gold. And we have this collection of chanfu foy number 21. Maybe we can do that looks good, eh? Is it all pretty? So move on to this one again. I am going to double stick here. This is important because when diamond dust pixie is really simple to do, like you just sprinkle it in and pour it in, it's quite good, but sometimes it can be a little bit um uh issue or troubleshooting like the, all of the crystal are gonna falling off. You know, because it didn't, it looks easy to place on, but it didn't get it really attached tight to it. So I'm going to every single crystal to mix. I don't squeeze anything yet. I'm just doing a little exam right here. I feel so scratchy right here. The edges. And feel right in. And you feel that because that's gonna catch in the hair scarf or anything. Great, and I'm going completely on the on the outsides and all the edges of the nails. The tip. It's getting all in there to make sure. Great, now I am gonna put it back in the LED lamp for about 60 seconds and this nail will be completely done. Hey Jenny, how are you? Facebook, thank you Facebook for sharing. Hey Tony. Hey Danielle. My leans. Now I got to see Facebook, so I want to say hi to everybody. Um, great. So move on to this one. We are going to do some cute chant for foil, and this is we probably because it's such a really good background. I'm gonna choose this because it has some greens and blue, so it might contrast really good with my colors that I'm pick. Have a coral colors so you want something in contrast let's try that because we did this one before we did several of them and also Sarah did so many beautiful of them as well so let's do something different for today look at that like I was thinking if you want just that you know bouquets right here you can trim that and place them on but let's see how we'll place them whole entire the nails how it's going to turn out so this is the final looks for this beautiful nails diamond dust pixie with um glow in the dark crystals let's move on to next nails which is the last one i am going to using a premiums i hold chan for foy and this will cure in 30 seconds you can using a i hold chan for foy and that requires to cure 60 seconds this one i do 30 seconds so i can do more design for you Apply all and tie the nails. Good amount. You make sure you get it all on the edges because sometimes it's really have a curve there and you don't get um, to that. Then it's not going to chanfle if you don't have a chanfle foil gels on it. So here for 30 seconds. This one I'm doing it all and tie the nails. You can also choose to do just half of the nails or just part of the nails I think it's like all nails looks good because it's really pretty much just transparent so great this one looks good though I like that one I'm gonna see here and start changing my Maya, everyone. What do you think about this? 
Okay. Rose. I know the other one, Kai. What's a rose? One or two. Please help me. Now I'm start picking all the cool things so you can pick. Number one. Or number two. Oh, this one looks good. That's my gloves. Oh, I like number number one. Actually, I'm gonna do the rose on this. Sorry, guys. Like I said, what? You said you're gonna do the other one. And which is amazing about this, you can place, you can choose where and where do you want to like. I want to have a full rose on my, so I'm gonna do it right here. And lay that down. Really good pressures on. And you can feel like the salve is, is getting right into the nails. Get up my piece of paper, towel paper, and just give it a good. rubs on and then it will chamfer completely look at that it doesn't go anywhere but in the nails beautiful imagine it if you do this in background in black it's going to turn out really great background in yellow is really contrast stunning and if you're doing a background in the white, it's really pop up your coral flowers. So however you do it, you will never go wrong with this at all. Look at this. It's completely chamfered. Awesome. So we can do more. Like I will sit here and do like 100 nails for you. But you gotta make sure you stay awake with me because then I can show you. Okay, so. Let's do this and see how it turns out. Looks like it's, it's elastic or what? It might be, it might not. It should be an elastic one. Yeah, I think so. Oh, it's really nice. I'm going to trim that one. Um, hold on. Oh, it's nice. It had the thin line and the thicker line. I got it right here. Uh, on that. Right there. Everybody taking my... If you prefer to do it like a thinner line, I think it looks beautiful as well. Okay, cut. Trim that. Uh, I drop it right here. So there's a rose go. On my hand. After we completely, we can trim it like closer and then buff it off. It's gonna come right off. This is really simple. Everyone can really do it from beginner or from any of you that want to get your different techniques or different services in the salon. Looks great. 
If you're happy with this, you can just, you know, put um, for the best result, you see, I put the condensed little gels and I'm gonna cut this. Should I put any crystals on it? Should I leave it alone? Leave it alone. Okay, now leave it alone. So I'm gonna cap this really thin coat. So then your um, elastic strips, the rose gold will never come off. Maybe the nails come off before your strips is come off. So I'm just cap it around that. You don't have to necessarily cap it completely on the chamfer foil because chamfer foil aren't going anywhere. Um, and this is gonna apply the cap, the condensed glue gels in the top will help for the both on the stickers or elastics because they're pre-adhesive, but then it's still nice to be, to have a double secure because you know why? Because sometimes the clients are you know, using their hands, they do a lot of things around the house and then their top coat sometimes it come off. If you pay attention, they know that they, the top coat will wear off before they come to see you. Uh, I'm gonna do a you know, white top coat and uh, coating floating on the top of condensed glue gel. And then that's why is a lot of things will chipping off. So if you put one coat of condensed glue gels, it's like even a double secure for it. I love that because in that is just help me so much. So now when I train with the clients and doing it the client services, uh, they I don't have to worry about any of them are coming off or it's gonna be traced on me, you know? Okay, looks good. You see that how I blend it really nice? So then you can't even see any of condensed glue gels underneath. So now we are going to keep it for 60 seconds and this nail is completely done. You don't need uh, using a pre-season glue at all because we don't have any crystals on this one. So Another great slide tutorial tonight, everyone, just to be ashamed with you to recap this quick, I'm using this um, frame bender to, to bend any of the tire frame from a smaller one for the bigger one. So sometimes we have the clients have really high C curve and if you put the straight frames on it, it's really hard and then it's just like you feel whole entire edges, even though you can still feel your um, precision glue to feel all the gaps and cracks and everything, but it's still nice to have that. This is cute little tools and it gives us like really a peace of mind that it looks feet perfect. So all you need to do, let's say we have this little crux right there. I'm gonna do this tomorrow, like have an Easter theme for you guys. Uh, and then you just bend it. And there's one, if you pay attention, there are two of them. It's one is smaller and one is bigger. And you can see that. Now it's like curved really nicely. If it plays on the nails, like that it's place on it stay is like nice race on you know Just look at that I'm gonna show you on the side but somehow this nail is not dry I didn't you see that how it stay nice on it really nice though just key it in. Huh. Just, I don't know what I put it in there. It's now completely done, everyone. Look at that. Great. And then that's one you can bend any from a smaller frame to the bigger frame. You can just using a place in here. Super easy. It's nothing difficult. And then just press it. That's it. I'm holding on the um, up, but you don't need to. Just place right on your stations and then use it. And it's really quick. You can do two of them. Like I would do two of them. You don't have to do one. You can do two of them at the same time. You can do one. And you put another one on it. Oh, this gonna come off. You can do one, place one, and then you place another one in there. And you can press both of them at the same time. It's really fast and easy. Right there. And you can just, just bend it both at the same time. And it's gonna come out nicely. I give a good pressure on it, so it's like bend. This will soften the bend. Okay, so that, that is Bender. And it's like, you can find it on our official website, link in the bio. And a 25% off going on right now for special spring and anniversary sales. And 5% will be is donate to a 
WHO World Health Organization to help fight coronavirus. And okay, great. So, and we did some chromes. We did a what pink, pinky, pink. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is Jennifer was asking for. And then uh, this one, I put it on the top of cover corals and the cover a darker pink. It's, it's pink not pink this, purple. but if you're doing um, pink pinky purple. purple. Oh, mm -hmm. pinky purple. I'm sorry. So, but if you put on the background, the black is going to turn out different. If you put it on the background in a lighter pink, it will turn out different as well. It's really stunning. I love it. It's so uh, pigmented. And this one, we did it blossom gel. We're using a blossom gels earlier, and then with different techniques. If you miss it and you just tune in now, you can rewatching them after we finish with live videos on our story time under live video option. So then you can see that how we're doing it, create the marble look. You can do it it's darker, thicker, thinner, is however you would like it. It's just the same with simple techniques and we put the crystal placement and then we did the frames, I bent it and then I show you. And this is the third one we did with Diamond Dust Pixie and Glow in the Dark like kind of a unicorns uh, theme for me. And I feel that and we did is, uh, we did it number, I think at number two and then number, I think number two and number eight, if I don't get it wrong, in that uh, section of Diamond Dust Pixie. And then this is the number 21, Chan Fu Foy, and is rose gold um, elastic strips. It's really simple, it's really easy. We would love to share with you in like a basic, uh, you know, jewelry applications on the nails, crystal placement, and any nail arts you could have fun with without feeling really, really, uh, struggle or challenge so as long as remember to key as long as you keep them tight or the crystal tight together and that's how it's gonna give you a perfect crystal placement and again we have a lot we still have a lot of inquiry, uh, inquiries and asking about what we're using to place the crystal down so here I want to share if you have to get one item which is amazing and then you get the 25 percent sales on the top of your special this because you asked for it that's why it's here so this is condensed glue gels in 15 gram and then your no white top coat pre-seasoned glue and you have even a free one jars on the top of cell you have free one jars of your crystal mega mix which is a mix of all different sizes and all different colors for you to play with and if you have to pick one item to start with to do crystal placement that's the one i would suggest and it's such a come a really good combo and it's such a great um affordable price for you and it will last so long it, I don't know how long it can last. If you do like, if you're doing a lot of crystal placements with the clients like me, well, it means that when we're back to work and the amount of I'm doing a lot of crystal placement, a lot of clients doing a whole set of crystal placement, they take a long time to get it because the condensed of the condensed formulas of condensed glue gel, it take a long time for you to be using all up. So great investments, everyone, is something that you ask because I have to saying it in here because we have so many, we have overwhelming with, with uh, uh, questions and stuff. So I would like to share up here. So for the Chan Fu Foy, and there are two different kinds of Chan Fu Foy. There's uh, I Ho Chan Fu Foy and Premium I Ho Chan Fu Foy. I love them both. This one is just key and help me key really fast in 30 seconds if I have a client's back to back. And it, when I do live video with you here, so this will get it key really fast in 30 seconds and it chanfer completely. The other I hold chanfer for it will great and it just chanfer, but make sure you key it for 60 seconds. Remember the, can I get that, the bottle of the chanfer for you that? Uh, here for 60 seconds under is really proper LED lamp. So like make sure if your lamp is really good, it chalks. If you're rechargeable, you make sure you chalk it. If you're not rechargeable, then you make sure that you check all the bulbs there if they're all working well. Some of them that last for 5,000 hours and is going like in dying down. So when it's dying down, we're going to affect your crystal placement as well as any of crystal nail arts or any nail arts you're doing on the top like chan for four even if you um using a gel painting or gel polish i'm sorry application it's gonna make if you're not cured properly it's gonna mix all of your gels it's gonna start uh wrinkle so thank you so much nuna so i want to wait for instagram to come back 
one second. Hi Instagram, welcome back. Sorry I was going a little bit over an hour, but I'm back here. Just want to recap and to say bye to everyone until tomorrow. I'm going to see you again tomorrow with another live tutorials and another awesome content. And um, keep in mind, this is all brought to you by Glitz Accessory and such and the teams and it's free of charge. So you can enjoy every single time we're doing it work come up with some really cool content for you is trendy contents so like something that you will be seeing a lot of your clients will want to see and also we love to share with you so then you can you know unleash your potentials and become your trendsetters like you know sometimes something that people are doing often and the people are afraid of to try do try it because you never know so it's gonna be come up with something really cool that your clients will love but then you have to Anything else, anything you do, make sure you believe in what you're doing. I like say if you doing your liquid and powder, you believe that you're gonna get in really good, you're gonna master the skill, and do not intimidate buying any others. Like I do that too, you know. Me myself, I'm only human being, but sometimes we have to stay focused. If focus is give you a really, really good, um, is really give you good and support you, your mind that you're doing something right uh, and focus on it and always keep you know like learning never stop keep learning like even though sometimes i watch it from my team i watch from sarah i'm watching live video from brad learning from all different masters and all different uh nail tech talented you know i love to seeing it all learning and we all inspire each other you know from learning and and help each other and elevates the our industry to be one of a really really professional industry so i really believe in every single of you and i hope you really enjoy the live video tonight with us and everything else that you see and you haven't seen throughout so many videos we have we've been doing almost uh 300 videos now is at least 300 videos throughout past two years over two years so uh, if you miss anything or you want to see something if you are on Facebook only you can always seeing it on our page at glitz accessory and such and then you can go through the video section okay if you go to the post it might overwhelming you because you have to skip scoring scoring but if you go into the section right on the top right on the page name and then on the top it will say a video photo so click on the videos you see hundreds of them if you're on Facebook but if you are on um, YouTube you can searching on glitz accessory and such or you can searching a beauty forever with Nancy forever four is number four though so you can see all different videos over 300 videos that we've been sharing with you dedicate and help so much oh yes and then uh, is is to mention that too and then on IGTV or IG which is Instagram you can see all little smaller clips um, on the IGTV and a different section a different series you can uh, search for like for instance if you want to look in for um, crystal placement there's like 60 70 different ones and then there's like say weaver gels or uh, spider gels you can see a ton of them if you see a chant for four there's so many different uh, smaller clips so if you're busy at your work or with your family or anything you just like few minutes you can watch a new technique so um, also Sarah's um, going live really often to share with all of you so thank you Sarah's for the love and your dedication so um, if you haven't get chance to follow her um, she's on Facebook is Sarah nail by Sarah um, and she's on Instagram is nails by Sarah Detroit so I think we're going to do some fun giveaway with Sarah for all her fans coming in next week so please stay tuned for that and we're gonna do some fun things fun for her and with uh, Brad and Hilda and Vicky's on our team so and one thing before we you know say bye and uh there's giveaway going on right now for thirty thousand followers giveaway and i want to say thank you so much for every single of you we wouldn't be here without you which i love and support you know with a whole entire amazing teams and with every single of you thank you so much 
and don't forget to enter to win because the price is going up to thousands um dollars worth of the product with glitz accessories and such so make sure you follow all the steps so then you won't miss anything and good luck everyone um everything else all the products you're seeing it uh you can you know seeing it in our viables at our official website uh on uh glitz accessories and such and 25 25 of um of just gonna be you're gonna take 25 you get 25 percent off of our entire order and um five percent of total sale will be donated to world's health organization to help fight with coronavirus so thank you so much um thank you thank you yes it's great i'm so glad that nuna and aglos you all sharing keep um connecting together like you know it's great to support each other's and thank you so much Argo thanks so much for tuning in it's good to see you Whitney thank you so much thank you everyone and we did two video today one earlier with liquid and powders and if you're seeing it let me show in the nails because uh, the nails earlier with liquid and powder I must show you is really stunning as well and uh, Jessica turning in and she's saying like, I haven't seen you doing a liquid and powder for a long time. Sarah did really awesome liquid and powders as well. And um, you know, we uh, postponed our class in Michigan class uh, until everything is get better, which is uh, great because everybody uh, safety is our priority. So we wanna come back with the class and the dates will be uh, released really soon in June so then everybody will have a really good time to prepare for that so this is the four nails that we did earlier also Sarah did earlier the live video is not too long ago and her live video is so stunning then today is the theme she did this neon theme and um yesterday did you do boho theme I think it's really nice You're using a mercury mix bag so if you're seeing the mix bag if you're seeing the mix bag the mix bag is a really amazing of all different variety of crystals and it's go by themes so it's get even better and better so if your order is you know the mix bag is looks so different than a mix bag when it first get so if you get it in like one mix bag in the next three months it, because we're always updating it we don't want you to get in like so tired and seeking of getting the same mix bag so because you asked for it, that's why it's always updating. So if you're seeing the mix back of like one month now, you order, and then if you want another one for the next three months, it's gonna be a different. Well, it's still staying the same theme, but it's always update as the newest crystals is updating. So that is tonight. We did like uh, eight nails tonight. So much fun. And then we're gonna definitely gonna see you tomorrow with another live tutorials and another content anything any request any uh increase for the techniques and everything you want to see don't hesitate to dm us uh something that you want to see that from our products that you um got before then you want to see that how we achieve that how we're doing it uh just let us know email us like say you know you would like to see weaver gel so you would like to see chakra foil gel or you would like to see blossom gel you would like to see how to using your 3d brush and you'd like to see a 4d gels or you want to see some painting gels or different uh, shape of the crystal or you want to see the neon crystals or you want to see how we encapsulating to be perfect so we want you to utilize all your products so then you can be uh, really you know make your investment to be worth and plus that you believe in what you're doing and you love what you're doing and you make sure that you're doing it really good so you don't feel like you know um, you're wasting your time and your products doesn't work so let us know we would love to hear from you and thank you so much for another live tutorial weaver gel we did weaver gels here mrs series this is the weaver gel we did earlier, right there. And also on our um, IGTV, it's had a lot of different, a lot of different videos. So if you're seeing all different video or different episodes there, and if you haven't seen the ones you wanna see in it, just make sure you comment and um, DM us 
also you can email us and then we can get that live tutorials for you oh thank you so much it's my very best too and they're super cute all right everyone hi diva alices how are you hi kim nail care thank you everyone nailed it by me i love you all and if you miss it uh you not completely miss it so after we done a live video you can always be watching them on our story time on ig last 24 hours facebook forever it will last forever and then youtube will be all different episodes and different video for you so it's long videos uh tutorial tip and tricks but um it will show you and then you know is will guide you and limit of all that um, troubleshooting you might have so thank you so much for your time and i'm so glad you're all tuning in and i will definitely see you tomorrow have a good night bye everyone